the spotlight clearly is on Malik Zaire. Just, just talk about how he came into camp and how he's doing in camp so far. Well, I think the biggest thing he did was uh, he had an extremely productive summer. And, you know, he's, he's one of those guys that is, is going to look for avenues and outlets to, to get work in and to improve his craft. And um, certainly see, have seen some very positive improvements in his accuracy. Uh, you can tell that he spent a lot of time um, throwing the ball with his receivers. Uh, we're, 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 better you know, we're a better timing-based operation with, with, the, with the passing in than we were in the spring. He is a young quarterback, but he started and helped lead you to a victory over LSU mm -hmm. in the bowl game. How much is that helping him right now get ready for this year? Well, I think at that position in particular, anytime you have the opportunity to play leading into your first, you know, first year as a full-time starter, you know, you have the opportunity to gain some field credibility. You know, the, the ability for your, uh, for your players and your teammates that are around you, that surround you, to know that you're a proven commodity. You have to now designate a backup quarterback between two very talented guys but neither of whom has taken a snap in a college game. How is that going right now? It's going well. Um, you know, Deshaun Kaiser completely changed his body. Deshaun made the decision he was gonna he was gonna cut his body fat down. He was gonna lose some weight. Um, he's a big, athletic kid, and now he's he's moving a lot a lot crisper, a lot smoother, much lighter on his feet. And uh, you know, just the reps that he's getting in just these first four days have been uh, extremely important for him. And uh, you know, I think he's really doing doing some good things for us. The next step for him is is just to play confident and, and play decisive. And, and once he does that. Uh, he can be a really, really talented guy for us, provide some good quality position work there. Um, Brandon Wimbush, he came in and, and uh, you know, the one thing I love about Brandon is, is most quarterbacks come in as a true freshman and they have the deer in the headlights looks. I've, I've really only been around uh, a couple of quarterbacks that don't have the deer in the headlight look. And, and uh, you know, one of them was uh, the guy that was at Stanford a couple years ago, a place for the Colts, um, you know, in terms of uh, just guys that, that come in and they're ready to compete and they have a great focus about them and nothing's too big for them. Um, but with that being said, he's got a lot to learn. You're part of a very unique offensive coaching staff. You're the offensive coordinator, but really you're working with two other offensive coordinators. Mm -hmm. How is that working right now between you and Coach Denbrock and Coach Kelly? Well, I think it all starts with Coach Kelly. The guy's been around the game, uh, at, you know, offensively and defensively and coordinated on both sides of the ball from the head coaching position, um, which is extremely important. He has a great knowledge of the game, and um, I think every day I have an opportunity to learn from him and, and, uh, and you know, and, and, and continue to evolve what we're doing offensively. Beyond that, you know, Coach Denbrock is, is just a, uh, he's a great football coach. He's got a great mind. Um, and and the, the best thing about both he and Coach Kelly and, and uh, hopefully myself is that, is that we're, you know, we're, we're unselfish. And it's not about credit. Um, it's about our team. And that's what really the focus has been for our football program. Uh, and it starts with, with our coaching staff. But what is your offensive philosophy? In your mind, what makes a productive offense? Well, I think it starts up front. You know, it starts up front with uh, establishing control at the line of scrimmage. And um, Coach Heastan might, be, uh, might be one of the better coaches in America at any position. And, and um, he's done an incredible job of, uh, of putting this offensive line unit together. And it's not just uh, five guys. It's not just one or two standout guys. It's a collective unit. But uh, the other part of uh, you know is that we play turnover-free football. Um, championship teams run the ball well, they don't turn the ball over, and they create explosive plays. And I think that that's uh, offensive, you know, philosophically for me. Uh, I've been around, you know, a heavy tight end set type offense. I've been around completely spread offenses. Uh, you know, I think we have a really good mixture of the two going right now. A lot of offensive excellence on the coaching staff already before you got here. You're one of the up and comers in this business. And why did you select this job as the next step in your coaching career? Well, uh, so it's like because of Brian Kelly, Coach Kelly. Um, you know, I have a chance to be around a guy that's won at every single level, and it's it's coach football, uh, you know, offensively and defensively. Um, just that experience and to be able to learn and, and grow as a coach, uh, that was number one. Number two, this is the football mecca, and when you have an opportunity to be a part of something like this and be surrounded by a collection of, of young men that we have a chance to coach, it's it, it can be a pretty special thing to be a part of, and that's really those couple things are, are what make this a, a great job. Now we just got to go win.